And we are here at NOMCON 2022 with our friend Nick from Buchla. Now previously, our friend Nick from Buchla has been our friend Nick from Korg. But now uh, he is here uh, at Buchla and we are going to find out everything there is to know about the brand new Buchla Music Easel. So this is it. This is the Music Easel. We've shown it a couple times before. You'll remember in similar form at Superbooth. Uh, it is very similar to the original Music Easel that uh, has been around for quite some time, but it has a new uh, single unit additional on the left side, where in the top row here, there's the Music Box I.O., we refer to as the MBO, and then the uh, blank panel here can be removed and replaced with a 200E module or a 200 Classic module. You could put a 281 and have some functions or have a source of uncertainty in there, really whatever you'd like. And of course the 218 uh, has a couple cool new updates, like for example it outputs polyphonically over MIDI, uh, but it also has the, uh, the awesome uh, pressure that we know and love, so if I have um, so I have the shorting bar with the pressure coming into the timbre modulation input, but I could also take that and bring in the second oscillator, the modulation oscillator, which I have right now uh, set up as a drone. And as I apply more pressure to the keyboard, I'm bringing in both the timbre and the second oscillator. Of course, there's the spring reverb that appeared on the easel command. It just sounds really lush. And if I turn on the arpeggiation, get some really cool sounds out of it um, and of course I have and then with the uh, voltage sources I have control over the octave that I'm playing in and then I can also program preset voltage sources so I can recall those if I need them for a performance or whatnot so, the new Music Easel comes in this injection molded suitcase. It's got a cool Buchla logo on it. And I'm also showing the program manager card. Really useful for if you put it into a remote mode, you can save and recall uh, presets for your 208 voice. So really useful if you're doing a performance and you need to recall a sound that, uh, that you don't have time to, you know, um, dial in with the faders, so. So I guess I'll just kind of make some more cool sounds with it. Sounds good to me. So I have the modulation oscillator coming in by audio now, but I could also go and bring in some modulation of at a low range. So something that's never before appeared on a Music Easel is the Music Box I.O. Uh, it takes some of the very popular I.O. from the Easel command, like uh, USB and MIDI and uh, CV gate that could use to connect to say uh, Eurorack and Volper Octave uh, and add some arithmetic uh, slew, uh, some audio inputs and then a slot that actually can be used to expand this for more functionality that uh, we haven't even figured out the extent that we want to uh, to do yet so there will be some really cool stuff available there. The uh, quarter inch main outputs have been moved to the front panel, you have sustain input and you can now host uh, natively, uh, whereas the uh, easel command had the host expander. 
So you can actually just host and have, a, say, a second USB device or maybe charge your phone or anything that needs USB power. Uh, so that's the uh, new Music Easel. We're really excited to hopefully bring it out by the end of this year. Uh, and the program manager card is also going to be coming uh, within the next month or two. And then the 218 as a module that can go in a 200E system uh, or as a uh, 218 LEM with the enclosure is also, also hopefully coming very soon. So thank you so much for uh, having me. Thank you so much, Nick. It's always a pleasure.